Well, it's just a start. We have a lot of decorating to do to make it just right. Oh, it's so sunny and bright. It's perfect. And you already have the crib. Now look what I just got. Pretty fancy, Mom. Want me to show you how to use it? Are you kidding? I got this thing all figured out. I even have your baby pictures on here already. Look how cute you were here sleeping with the blanket and anime. You know, today we don't put blankets in the crib no matter how cute they are. And we have to lay the baby down to sleep on their back every time. You've heard of SIDS, right? Oh yes, that's when a baby dies unexpectedly during sleep and doctors can't find an explanation. Right, sudden infant death syndrome. At our birthing classes, we learned there are a lot of different things we need to do to reduce the risk of SIDS and other sleep-related causes of infant death, such as accidental suffocation. Who knows what goes in a crib? I know. A sheet. A blanket. Soft bumpers. A teddy bear. One of you is right, and the rest are nyeh, wrong. Over the past 20 years, researchers have learned a lot about safe infant sleep. Besides the baby, a fitted sheet in a safety-approved crib is the only thing you need. No loose bedding, no bumpers, no pillows, no teddy bears, and no blankets. Check it out. Marco brought home this bassinet to keep in our bedroom. For the first couple of months, the baby will sleep right here in our room next to where we sleep. Oh no, Jellybean. You're gonna want that baby sleeping right next to you in bed for those feedings through the night. Our instructor said that bed sharing actually increases baby's risk for SIDS, not to mention increasing the baby's chance of suffocating or being fatally injured. You sure are developing a mother's instinct, honey. I know things change. I'll do it the new way because my new granddaughter is gonna grow up to be an amazing woman, just like her mother. For more information, please visit the Safe to Sleep website at safetosleep.nichd.nih.gov.